Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and this is a quick crafty haul of the Tailored Expressions grab bag. I am so excited. This just came in the mail today and it sold out within hours of the listing um, going live and I'm really glad that I didn't think too too hard about getting it because I really love their um, design aesthetic and um, the quality of their products but oftentimes it's a little bit outside my price range because the um, the designs that I tend to like happen to always be like the red rubber stamps and so those are a little bit higher quality um, they always give you a really really nice stamped impression and it does everything does come in this um, kind of canvas tote which is also really nice bonus um, and everything is made in the US so rightfully uh, costs a little bit extra as well uh, the grab bag is advertised as $250 worth of product and they were selling it for $79 so it's a really good discount and um, this is what $250 worth of product looks like. It's a lot here and that was one of the things that I had a hard time wrapping my head around and um, the reason why I wanted to shoot this crafty haul video because I was looking for videos, unboxing videos or haul videos so that I could get a sense for what um, generally comes in these grab bags that Tailored Expressions offers and um, knowing that yeah it's retired products but um, so I'm not going to get exactly what I see in any haul video but hopefully I have an idea for what um, how much product you would get and um, I couldn't find any videos so hopefully if you're watching this at a later date and you're considering a grab bag this helps you to make a decision. So right off the top here, I kind of wonder if they handpicked this for me because I am LV handcrafted because those are my initials, um, or at least V is part of my initials, so that's kind of cool. Um, and it's a huge, huge V, and it looks like I get an ampersand too. Um, this is three, about three and five eighths tall. Well, it's a huge letter, so... I wish, I wish they had given me the L also. That would have been really perfect, but maybe the L isn't retired. <laughs> okay, so um, these are kind of interesting. So what are these? These are 3x4 watercolor panels. It looks like they're pre-printed. So um, it's all ready to go, all ready to be colored, and I've got different holidays throughout the year. So Easter, Halloween, and Christmas. And how many do you get? Oh, you even get different designs. Okay, so you get three each of four designs. So, um, all ready to um, color, maybe add some mats and layers, and boom, you've got a card. So, these are really cute. I just love um, their, the artistic style. It's just sort of whimsical and fun. And, yeah, most almost all of these are just ready to color and put onto, onto a card. The exception is this one. You kind of have to put something in the center there, but um, still really, really easy cards um, to make from those. Oh, mom. Caps Lock Mom and Caps Lock Companion, mom slash dad. Well, that makes sense. World's best mom. You're, you are the best. I love you, super thankful for you, world's best. And these are red rubber. Really nice. I mean, they're red rubber um, and they're already, you know, foam mounted, but... There's a nice kind of um, deep etch on them, so so really nice. And the mom is a good size too. That's over an inch, it looks like. So about oh, it's an inch and a half even. So really nice size on the on the mom. And then let's see. So we've got some. This is a carriage, and I <laughs> I do have more and more fairy themed things. I don't know scale wise if this fits in with. Uh, well, it's bound to fit with something that I have in the fairy theme, but I actually can make use of this, surprisingly. Um, there's a lawnmower. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I'll work that in, but <laughs> that might be a giveaway later. Teddy bear. Um, Bloomers seven. Kind of cute. Layered flower. A firework. Singular. <laughs> And that's another one that you can layer up. That's kind of cute. 
Sitting Pretty Accessories. Um, these are kind of cute. Just like little uh, different vases and flower pots and um, little items that you can uh, kind of decorate a scene with. So it's kind of neat. How big are these? They're not too, too tiny, but they are small. Um, oh, this looks interesting. Full bloom. Oh, okay. So this cuts into your card, the design, but um, these little petals will actually lift up. So that's kind of neat. But then you do also get these dies, which will cut out your individual petals. So you can actually layer these right back on top of this. And it's nice because the one die will cut you several petals. So if you're trying to um, layer on top of all of these, you only have to run it through your die cutting machine a couple times to get all the petals that you'll need. So that's really nice. I'm kind of curious to um, see how that one turns out. This looks like Border Builders Home Sweet Home. So it's a nice sort of diorama um, style, which is kind of nice. So I think the square or uh, the rectangles here are meant so that you can actually back the window so that if you want to, um, because the main die will cut out those little window panes, but then these solid ones, you could um, put a little scene in them if you wanted, but you could just like cut out yellow cardstock, for example, and it'll just look like the um, the lights are on in the house. So that's kind of cute. So that's a nice little attention to detail. Um, here's another house. Well, I wonder if scale-wise the lawnmower <laughs> fits with this house. Probably. Um, so this, uh, I have something similar to this, so I don't know if I'll keep this or add it to a giveaway later, but um, the one I have is from Lawn Fawn, but that's interesting. So this doesn't cut the main house, so that you do have to cut yourself, but it's an easy cut. I mean, it's just a square or a rectangle, but it is kind of nice that they haven't given you a die for that because you could make um, like a little one-story cottage house style house or a two-story kind of townhouse sort of um, style. So it's kind of nice that you have all the all the um, decorative elements for the roof and windows and doors and everything, but you can make this house as tall as you want. So that is kind of nice. So that's cool. And then we have an embossing or a couple of embossing folders here. So this one's Chevron and it's for a USA two. So four and a half by five and three quarters. So you can get nice edge to edge embossing. This one is a Paisley. Yeah, Paisley. I do have, I think I have something similar to this. If I do, this is probably going to make its way into a giveaway. And this is, looks like a damask pattern. I think I might have something similar to this as well. That's nice. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. Um, corrugated. I was actually almost got something very similar to this, so I'm glad that I didn't because it's kind of neat to be getting it now. And then we've got some enamel dots in Peapod. And another embossing folder. I have never seen that word before. Um, but that's a pattern I do not have, so that's that's pretty nice. I've been putting a lot of embossed panels onto my card fronts lately, so I'm using it embossing folders more and more. I really like um, just that added texture, even if it's like white on white. Um, this is a nice hound's tooth, which I do not have, so kind of nice to get all these different patterns. Oh, Christmas! Yay! So holiday florals. I just started my Christmas crafting, so the, these are coming just in time. And these, I think, will probably make a really nice, um, like, floral spray or maybe even a wreath. Oh, these are rather large. That's nice size. Um, and it is the red rubber. Really nice. That's a really nice quality. And, oh, this is so cute. Campy Christmas. We've got different styles of campers, and I just love how whimsical and fun their little characters are. Uh, you got like a moose with a little Santa hat, a little puppy, 
Santa hat and a little bird. Um, and the images look like they're they're gonna be really easy to color too. So and this is red, yeah. Ooh, coordinating dies. Oh, that's even bigger bonus. Um, yeah, this stamp and die set alone would be kind of pricey. Um, so really, really awesome. And it's a nice size too. So this big camper here is three inches wide by about almost an inch and a half tall. So it's a really nice size. Um, yeah, amazing. This is, this is fun. I will definitely be using, um, these two Christmas, um, stamp sets probably first because I, I've just started my Christmas crafting so I'll um, definitely pull these out to make some cards. So this is an amazing grab bag. I'm very very glad that I got it and that um, I didn't think too too hard <laughs> about it because um, it did sell out really quickly. Well worth it I think. Uh, fantastic discount, a lot of fun things that I know I'll use and some things that I um, are similar enough to what I already have that I might set those aside for a giveaway. But if you're watching this at a later date and you're considering um, getting a grab bag if they do offer them again, hopefully this gives you an idea for what you know $250 worth of product looks like and the sorts of things that you might get. I, I think it's fantastic um, value for money and um, even though it's retired products, I don't mind. I often wait for things to go on clearance anyways before I buy them. So, um, so I'm really happy with what I got and I hope that um, this is a helpful video for you. Thank you so much for joining me and until my next video, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!